Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal and in today's video I want to talk about exercise and period loss. Now there is a huge misconception out there that if you do moderate to intense exercise that predisposes you to losing your period or having other menstrual issues come up. And that is simply not true. Of course everyone is different and so I don't want to say that like exercise can't affect your cycle. Obviously things do happen but for most of us exercise is super good even if it is like pretty intense. But where things can get a little bit crazy is when you pair exercise with under eating. So that is the topic of this video today is I wanted to talk about the effects of under eating and then also when you add exercise on top of an already calorie restricted diet what happens and the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I think it is very common <laughs> for many of us to think that we need to eat as little as possible with also working out as hard as possible. And those things combined are just a recipe for disaster. And that is because when you under eat, you are not giving your body a lot of energy. And so if you don't have a lot of energy available, it's going to be hard for your body to keep all of your bodily functions going. And for a lot of us, it's very easy to think that if we eat as little as possible, where our bodies are gonna be totally fine because our bodies just, you know, take care of us. And it doesn't really matter how much we eat, it's all just gonna work out. But but that's just not true. Like the energy that we take in, it powers our brain, it powers our muscles, it keeps digestion going. The energy that we bring in fuels our bodies. And so if you're under eating, it's very stressful on your body and your body will very quickly go into self-preservation mode. And what that means is that it will start to get rid of things that it deems unnecessary. And one of those things is your fertility. So when you chronically under eat or restrict your calories to a point where your body is having trouble just maintaining its bodily functions, it's going to shut off your fertility and that is going to cause you to have irregular cycles, it might cause you to have no period at all, and I'm very familiar with this because many 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 years ago I struggled with this myself, I struggled with amenorrhea and it sucked and it took a long time for me to get my period back and for me to just feel good because once your sex hormones are messed up and you start having irregular cycles and you start having period loss all of your other hormones get messed up too and it's just not good and so if you're chronically under eating and then you start to exercise that is going to further deplete your body of energy and exercise as we know can burn a lot of calories and exercise is really good and we want to exercise because it's so awesome for everything it's good for our mental health it's good for our heart health, it's good for so many things. But if you're not fueling your body properly, it can cause more harm than good. Another reason why it's really important to be very mindful of your nutrition while you're also working out is because if you do start getting into a cycle where you are having menstrual issues or you might have lost your period or your cycles are becoming very long, that is very serious. If you experience period loss for more than three months, that can start to lead to not only fertility issues, but overall hormone issues. It can also affect your bone health, your heart health, as well as your mental health and your mood. And so it's really important to make sure that you're not going down a road that can cause these things. And I just am here to tell you that you can reach your goals, whether that is fitness goals or weight related goals, by doing it sustainably and by doing it safely. And so there's no reason for you to have to like crash diet and work out like crazy to achieve your goals. Of course, it might take a little bit longer, but the long game is where it's at. It's so important to do these things sustainably. I know a lot of people think that period loss or menstrual cycle issues only happen to people who are like a really low weight, but it can truly happen to anyone. It doesn't matter what your weight is. What really matters is how you're eating and fueling your body. And if you're just really under fueling your body, you're gonna have menstrual disturbances just like everyone else. So I wanted to make that also really clear. So I don't want this video to be scary or anything like that, but I do want you guys to use this information to empower yourselves and make sure that you are taking care of yourself, eating well and exercising in a way that you love and not doing so out of self-hate or because you don't like what you see in the mirror. I mean, it's always great to have goals, but if you don't have that compassion for yourself,
yourself, it can spiral into this very negative and vicious cycle of not eating well and over-exercising and all of that kind of stuff. So if you are someone who struggles with this or that you think that your workouts are affecting your cycle and you're not sure why, I definitely recommend talking to a nutritionist or a dietitian. They would be more than happy to help you. They'd be able to give you personalized recommendations that will support your goals and your needs. And it's really important to talk to someone who can help you get on the right track. Unfortunately, there's a lot of meal plans out there that are like a one-size-fits-all and one-size-fits-all stuff doesn't work for everyone. And I see this all the time online, like there'll be, you know, 1200 calorie meal plan that is being sold to everyone. And like, I can almost guarantee that, you know, most people are not going to thrive on that. Um, but unfortunately, we're so fixated on the number that we think, well, less is more, so I should eat less and then I'll get more results. And that's just like simply not true. I also think it's a really great idea that if you do have any fitness goals to work with a personal trainer and if you can find a personal trainer who will work with your cycle, that would even be better. So finding a trainer that can help give you progressive steps towards your goal is really important. And also finding someone who can take into account where you are in your cycle is really Really important too so hopefully that's going to become more popular because I know not all personal trainers really take into account the menstrual cycle but working out with your cycle is just so amazing it can help you with progress it can help you build more strength it can help you rest and recover properly and so if you guys haven't seen my video on how to work out with the cycle I'll put it up here so you guys can check that out but I definitely recommend working with someone if you do have certain goals that you want to attain um, and working with someone can help give you steps to attain those goals and of course, I think rest is really important. One of the biggest things that is very overlooked when it comes to training is resting. We have to rest. And I know that when we're online or looking at influencers and stuff, you like rarely see them resting. It seems like they're always in the gym working out and maybe that's true for them, but for you, I think rest is important <laughs> and I think it's important that we find value in rest because rest is how you get the most out of your training. Your body needs to recover. It's so, so important. So those are my takeaways and hopefully they help you. I don't think I can end this video without saying if it's possible, ditch your scale. I know a lot of us fixate on numbers. I remember in my very early 20s, that was me as well. and the scale can be really damaging. And I know a lot of us think, well, it's a great way of like figuring out our progress, you know? And you know, some people have a healthy relationship with it, but I think a lot of us don't. And so hopefully this can give you permission to just get rid of your scale and start looking at different ways of tracking your progress that aren't focusing on a number because that number on the scale does not determine your worth at all. It has no value whatsoever. You don't need that in your life. What is really great at determining your progress is how good you're feeling and your energy levels. Like, are they increasing? Like, are you feeling really amazing after your workouts? How are you sleeping? Are you sleeping better? That's a great way of gauging like how your health is because sleep is so important. And of course, another really great thing is just seeing how your clothes feel. That's a great way of tracking your progress without having to make it like a number or or something like that and it's not so much negative it's more positive. So those can all be really great ways of tracking progress without having to fixate on a number. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to talk about this because under eating is so prevalent nowadays and so many people under eat while adding really intense exercise on top and that can really do a number on your hormones and often it can take a few weeks even a few months to start to see hormone disturbances and if you are like just chronically restricting your calories and exercising really hard it's just in the long term it's just not going to be great so Hopefully this gave you some more insight and something to think about. I know a lot of people struggle with this, so if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments. As always, your cycle matters so much, and I'm here for you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!